Let's look at this question. Tim's car was worth 40,500 when it was brand new and now it is worth 14,500. The car depreciates, reduces its value at the rate of 18% per year. Write and solve an exponential equation that will allow you to calculate the age of the car. So Tim had a new car. When it was brand new, it was 40,500. And after some years, the value is now 14,500. And the rate at which the car is depreciating or decreasing its value is 18%. So what does that mean? So then something is decreasing by 18% every year. That means, suppose, let me, let me explain. Suppose you're buying a car at, say, $100. Suppose the value is $100. After one year, there is a reduction of 18%. So you will have, you have to take away 18% or you find 82%. So 10, so one way of doing is 10 take away 18 or 100 times. So easy one way is say you go 100, take away 18%. 18% 18 of 100 is 18, which is 82. Or it's 100 times the smarter way is times 0.82 you'll get 82 dollars so after one year it is for 82 dollars this is 82 dollars after one year so i multiplied this by 0.82 so after two years you have to find 82 percent of this okay so that would be again 82 times 0.82 which is 64.2 67.24 67.24 okay so I've tried to explain this in first in a table form and then I'll use algebra to uh, solve this problem so let's understand what does it mean to inc decrease by 18% so let us say this is zero year that is when the car was brand new so we are made two columns number of years n and value of the car which is v so when the car was new brand new zero means it was new it is 40500 so after one year it is 40500 times 0.82 so let me show that so you can go 40500 uh, times 0 0.82 so that is when something is decreasing by 18%, what is remaining is 82%. So 82%, when something is decreasing by 18%, what is remaining is 82%. And 82% as a decimal is 0 0.82. And that's why I'm getting 33,210 by multiplying by 0 0.82. So suppose if, if you don't understand, suppose how will you find 18% of 40,500? 40, so that is 18% is 0 0.18 times 40,500, which is 7,290. So this is the reduction in the first year. So then you go 40,500 minus 7,290. That's the long way of doing it. Or the smarter way is, you go 40,500 times 0 0.82. That is what is remaining. So you'll get the directly the answer. That is 33,210. So after one year, the value was 30, 33,210. After two years, it is this 33,210 is same. This, this is same as this. So instead of writing 33,210, I have written this which is equal to this year. I want you to sh see a pattern. So that is 40,500 times 0 0.82 times again 0 0.82. That means when you multiply this two, so this is 0 0.82 times 0 0.82 is 0 0.82 squared. Okay, and that, uh, let us do that. So let me show that. So it is 40,500 times 0 0.82 squared sorry, it's 40,500 times 0.82 squared gives you this number. Or 
this times 0 0.82 so let's do the other way 33,210 and that's again reducing by 18 percent so it is you have to multiply by 0 0.82 will give you the same number okay so this is after two years it is 40,500 times 0 0.82 squared okay when it's the third year you this 22 27,232.2 is same as this okay i hope you can see this and this are the same instead of writing this number 22 27232.2 i can write this and that's what i've done 40500 times 0 0.82 squared times again 0 0.82 and this and this becomes 0 0.82 cube so let's do that so let us do this in two ways if you go 27000 232.2 times 0.82 times 0.82 so let me do a point here that is 22330.404 or you can go 40500 500 times 0.82 cube will give you the same number okay so i see i hope you can see the pattern so the fourth for the fourth year it will be 40,500 times 0.82 to the power 4. So let's change the power. If I change the power to 4, I will get the value of the car in after the fourth year. So let me delete. That is 18,310. Okay, so let me write that. 18,310 uh, point something. Okay, I'm not interested in that. And in the fifth year, if you continue, you'll get this. So let's do that. So let's change that 4 into 5. 5 and delete the 4. That is 15,014. So that is 15,014. That's how you can do. Uh, and then you can find the value. But the main reason that I uh, went through this table is to explain this formula. So this formula tells me current value the current value is this value. Current value is the initial value, which is 40,500 times 1 minus rate percent, R is the rate of interest, divided by 100 times N. This is the formula. So if you don't need the, you don't need this formula, so the current value in this case, you can say whatever is the current value, I'll write CV is equal to the initial value, that is IV, times in this case it will be 18 percent divided by 18 percent is 18 divided by 100 is 0 0.18 so let me show that on calculator so 1 minus 18 divided by 100 is 0 0.82 so times 0 0.82 in this case will be 0 0.82 to the power n where n is the number of years where n is the number of years. So in this case, we have this formula. Current value is initial value times 0 0.82 times, sorry, 0 0.82 to the power n. So your current value is 14,500. Your initial value is 40,500. Your rate of interest is 18%, and you want to find n. So let's use that formula, and this is the formula that I've used. Current value, which is 14,500, which is is equal to 40,500 times this. Okay, so that is, this is 0 0.82 to the power n. So what I've done is I've divided this side by 40,500. So I'd also divide this side by 40,500. So this and this gets cancelled. You got 0 0.82 the whole to the power n is this. And and then I use the calculator. So let me show that. 40, uh, it is 14,500, 14,500 divided by 40,500. That gives me this number, 0 0.3580. And I want to save this whole thing as a letter so you can use this arrow key. So press that and use alpha A and press enter. So this means the calculator remembers A as this number. So let, let me show you. If you press alpha A equal, this is this number. So that's what I've done. So I've saved this as A. So I can now say 
taking log on both sides. The next step is taking log on both sides. Taking log. And let me write on both sides. So if you take log of one side, you have to take the log of the other side. So log of 0.82 to the power n is log of a. And that is using the log rule, this becomes n log 0.82 is equal to log a. And now dividing both sides by log 0.82. So if you divide this side by log 0.82, you have to do the same thing to this side. So this becomes n is log of a divided by 0.82. So let me show that on a calculator. If you go log alpha a divided by log 0.82 will give you 5.175, this whole number. And that is 5.18 in 2 dp. And we want to write this as number of years and months. So this is 5 year and 0.18 months. So 0.18 months sorry, 0.18 years, and 0.18 years, one year has 12 months. One year has 12 months, so if you want to change 0.18 years, or 0.18 years, two months, I have to multiply by 12. So zero point, or you can also do take away phi, if you want exact number, and times it by 12. That is 2.11, so it's about, it's over two, two months. So you can say about five years and two months. This is approximately five years, two months. And you will get uh, your value would become, if you're, if you're starting with 40,500 after two, five years and two months, the value of the car would become 14,500.